We're back, and now we have a wonderful form of art called writing. This is Hans Berger. Welcome, Hans. Thank you so and much. And he's uh, here to talk about a wonderful book that he's written and published. There not, there's not all those artists that can get their stuff published. <laughs> it's uh, the reason I got into it is uh, I got I, by accident. We were at World War Two. Okay, mm -hmm. I was two years old. My older sister was nine. My three sisters and I. We were living in Heidelberg, Germany. Everybody's heard of Heidelberg. Mm -hmm. And we had a beautiful life, great town. My dad had a wonderful job at, at, at the hospital. And uh, my mother made a mistake. She spoke out against Hitler. And um, that got us into lots of trouble. One night, um, a good friend of her came to my mother and says, Mrs. Berger, <clears throat> you have one or two hours to leave because they're on their way to arrest you. And we were not Jewish, just an ordinary German family. It's a story, it's an untold story that has to be, it deserves to be told. What so actually this happened. is your, your life? That's my life. Wow. What happened to the average German family if you were against Hitler, if you spoke out against them. They had ears, oh. wherever you were, they were listening, okay? So my dad took us, that evening took us to the train, partially bombed out train, and got us uh, situated and said, good, said goodbye. We went 800 kilometers east. My mother grew up in East Prussia. It's on the Polish border way, mm -hmm. way back. And uh, he figured he'd never see us again. I can't imagine how we lived for over a year. He didn't hear from us for over a year. We got there <clears throat> and the Russians came across the border, poured across the border about hundreds of thousands with thousands of tanks. We were caught right in the middle of this whole, it's like a tidal wave. And it was destruction, murder, you name it, it all happened. And uh, we had no home, no food, no medical services. I don't know how my mother kept us alive and kept herself alive. And um, um, it, was, it was a horrible time. And what I'm stressing in this book is the miracles that happened. We came to an end. We figured, we figured we'd never make it, make it out of it. But obviously we did because I, was, I wouldn't be here otherwise. <laughs> So we came out, with God's help, we, we, we made it. That's a miracle. That's wonderful. There was one miracle that happened. Uh, it was a lot of snow. It was very cold. It was the coldest times in Europe in, 19, in October 1944, October, November, during the Battle of the Bulge. It was horrible. And we were ill-prepared for that cold. And uh, my mother came across a building. It was partially bombed out, but it gave us shelter. Mm -hmm. There was nothing in that house, no food nothing to heat, but it was a place to stay. Yes. So we all huddled in that room, in that one of the rooms in the house, but the snow was like two to feet deep. Middle night, there was a knock on the door, or maybe somebody broke down the door. It was a Russian soldier, fully equipped with this rifle, and whatever they carry, mm -hmm. helmet. So he came in, put the rifle down, looked around, make sure everything was secure. Uh, he left. He figured my mom figured, well, he's going to bring his buddies. That's what happens with my three sisters and my mother. So should she go or stay? If we had left, we would have died in the cold and the snow. So if she had peace, all of a sudden, I'm going to stay here. He came back within a half an hour all by himself with a bundle of wood he gathered somewhere and made us a fire, warmed us up. I'm sorry, it's emotional. And uh, he had eggs bacon, flour. He made us pancakes, he, he bacon, eggs, for he made breakfast for us. He never said one word when he came. My gosh. Never said one word. Then he was with us for maybe eight hours or so. Then he left. We didn't know where he went. He never said one word. My mother knew a little bit of Russian. She learned during this whole escapade, mm -hmm. but he was like an angel. I know he was an angel. She looked for him and he was nowhere to be found. And this happened, there are quite a few more of these miracles in this book. It'll make it oh something else. Oh my gosh, this has got to be so emotional. Whatever Very. made you think to, to write it down? Well, friends of mine said, I told them the story a little bit about it. He says, you got to write a book. And it took me about two years to get going. Mm -hmm. I started, put it away because it's very hard to write. Mm -hmm. Started, put it away. Then I finally got it started, got it edited, 
And by accident, I ran across my mother's war journal. I didn't know she kept a war journal. Nobody knew. Mm -hmm. I opened it up. She wrote a lot of stuff. And here it was. And things were a whole lot worse than I ever knew. Well, your mother was your hero. From oh, the she, sounds she, of she's it. tough as nails. She was mm -hmm. tough as nails. And so, uh, what, how did you come to think of the name A Bridge to God, Cross? God gave it to me during the middle of the night. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. He does things like that, you know. That's all, that's I, all I, I know tell you. that for sure. So, um, you say it's been out about two years about now? About two years. And, and is uh, selling pretty well? Yeah, it's doing well. It's, uh, you can get it through on, online through Barnes & Noble. Smashwords, Google, it's all over the social media. It's, it's everywhere. That is fantastic. And also local bookstores. You walk into any bookstore, they can get it for you if they don't stock it, if they don't have it on, on hand. That's, that's wonderful. And that's Barnes & Noble, you can also go to Barnes & Noble and get it through them. I want to show you a picture of the cover. And this, this is really fabulous. This is something they should read because it's written right out of the heart. Mm -hmm and brings so much of, the, of that, the bravery of everybody that, that went through that. Listen, Hans, thank, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you for your time. It, and I sure, well, I'm sure gonna get this. All right. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back.